The Red Chamber has um, established an ad hoc committee to investigate transactions in the Mambila Hydroelectric. The resolutions were adopted today after a motion moved by Senator Manu Haruna, representing Taraba Central, on the urgent need to address the challenges of commencing the Mambila Hydroelectric Power Project. The lawmaker had in his motion highlighted the failure of previous governments to prioritize the national project with its capacity to generate 3,050 megawatts. Steep steps taken by His Excellency, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Bola Ahmad Tinubu, in attending and taking action at COP28 Climate Summit in Dubai, United Arab Emirates, UAE, in December 2023, to improve Nigeria's electricity supply through the renewable energy. Resolved, urged the Senate Committee on Finance, in collaboration with the Federal Minister of Finance, to include the Mambila Hydroelectric Project funding, project funding, as part of the legacy project, and the 15% counterpart funding, which is. 868 million 800,000 USD to be funded from the renewed hope infrastructural development funds. In their contributions, other senators asserted that the Mambila hydroelectric project is non existent, describing it as a dubious process. So, if we can get one source that will just bring in 3,000. Can imagine the positive change that will happen to the country. But unfortunately, despite the glaring and obvious importance of this project, this project has suffered so many setbacks. As, um, as the chair committee on local content, I would say that I have received quite a few petitions with regards to the ownership of the legal tussles around the Mambila project. So as we are asking on the president to consider this as one of the key projects of his administration, it is also important that we tidy all ends. Contracts that are non-binding should be laid to rest. Any arbitration that is ongoing must be looked into. And we should be very mindful not to pacify people, just people or companies that do not have capacity, but to pacify them in, and incorporate them into local country. We should be very careful of that, sir. Now there are no issues again. No money has been paid. Sunrise has the right as a local content to contest and to bid for such projects. Now that the present administration has also taken this as one of its legacy projects, we commend the administration of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to have taken this bold initiative. And he has taken this project away from the NSIA and give it to the Green Infrastructural Fund. And they are ready to fund. These experiences, where people who have nothing other than a briefcase, they go into collusion with elements in the Ministry of Justice. They wrap up an agreement which is meant to favor them even as they show no competence, no evidence of competence that they can get the job done. And when they can't do the job, you ask them to leave, we are asked to pay some money to allow those who have the competence to do it. That is my summary of all that has happened. Shall we, on another occasion, enact a law that says a dispute arising from commercial transaction in Nigeria, the arbitration, where necessary, must be on the soil of Nigeria and not in a foreign country? What, as a country, we are losing beyond the 3,050 megawatts, even the nature in Mambila, the tourism that to attract to Mambila, the agricultural opportunities in Mambila are beyond anybody's imagination. For any government to have priority in Nigeria, I believe that Mambila Hydro Project should be that number one priority in terms of infrastructural development. In his remark, Deputy Senate President Barao Jibrin said lack of power supply had plunged the country into further hardship. It's a very important motion because power 
is sine qua non for an industrial nation. Any nations that would want to get it right in terms of industrialization, power is sine qua non. You can't do without it. And the issue of uh, Mambila has been around since for the past 25 years. When I was in the House of Representatives, it was there, we are part of it, but it couldn't be actualized. And now we have come to a, I mean, going by the revelation by Senator Sane Musa, we can say that the project is good to go. So Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.